Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I am John Brettel, aka The Mesh Man, and I've changed the background a little bit because I decided to wear my black shirt and I kind of disappeared when I had the, the black background on. Um, so today we're going to talk about radius gauges. And this is typically the set that you would get. I've got a uh, link down below in the description. Um, and I'm going to kind of go over why it's handy to have, how to use it, um, just different, different reasons why you should have this if you're going to do any kind of fabrication work, um, either this kit or there's several other ones available um, in different sizes and, and, and that sort of thing. But so we're going to go ahead and get into it. So this is... Um, an imperial radius gauge set. I actually have a metric one somewhere. I just could not locate it for the video. Um, and as you can see, it is basically loaded down with a bunch of pieces of uh, random metal, it seems like. But what we actually have is just individual little pieces and they are all labeled, stamped. So you don't need to worry about the, the sizing coming off. Yes, some of them, they can be a little difficult to read. Um, we'll try to get this up here so we can actually see it, maybe. And uh, all of this is, like I said, is imperial. So this is all fractions, uh, but they are in 164th steps. So that's really handy to have. And just to give you an idea um, real quick, of, you know, let's say I had this USB drive, thumb drive, right? And I wanted to make a holder. I wanted to cut a hole somewhere so that I could actually just drop this down into it. So I need to know, we all know that these have like radiuses on them. Um, and what I need to do is I need to figure out which one it is. So first thing you do is gonna kind of eyeball and just see which one looks like it might fit. Um, we're gonna start up here with this one. This is a 964 and we can just take it here um, and lay it up against the side. And we can see that there's still just a little bit of gap. It doesn't quite sit right. Um, there's actually another section to it here because this is an actual oval, I guess you would say. Um, we can, it should actually fit in there, but now you can see that it doesn't. Um, so it looks like it needs to be just a little bit bigger. So we'll move up to the next size, which is behind it. And we'll look at that one. Still not quite right. I can still see daylight through it. So we'll put that one back. I do recommend making sure you try to take these out one at a time and put them back one at a time. Um, because you dump them out and you're gonna have a heck of a mess to go through and organize so that you can know to go up a step or down a step. Um, ooh, I think we might have a winner. That looks pretty good. I'm feeling I want to do a lot of editing on this video so we can make sure I get these close-ups nice and tight. Um, so that one ends up being a five 30 seconds radius, which, uh, you know, a lot of software won't let you input the actual fraction. Some will, um, but so you just do your simple math, you know, five divided by 32 and you end up with a 0.15625 radius. Um, so, yeah, that's... That's how the, the basics of it work. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you is sometimes you don't want to measure the outside radius, but you want to measure the inside radius. So I'm going to put this one back. Maybe, there we go. And I want to talk about this little tool here and why this can be handy, especially for inside radiuses. So let's say, I have 
shape my case for my 12 inch calipers and let's say i need to know what the radius of this inner corner is right there um what i'm going to do is it actually looks like it's very similar to the radius of the usb gauge but i think it's a little bit off i think it's probably a little bit bigger so we're going to go one step above and Sometimes it can be difficult to get this in there, depending on how big the area is and the opening is to get this to sit in there. Um, so this, what this is designed for is you can actually pinch this in here by sliding it in and tightening this thumb screw here. Um, just a little bit, you don't wanna over tighten it. But no, oop. try that again. And it's not going to hold it super, super, super tight, but it clamps it enough that you can stick it down in something. Um, and now I've got a little bit more room to sit this in there. And now I can see that that is like, well, it's damn near perfect. Um, so that radius ends up being an 1164. So again, we can go into our calculator um, if we need to figure out the decimal in, uh, conversion of that. 0.171875. So, um, but yeah, that's the basics of uh, the radius gauge. You don't always have to use it, but it beats the heck out of just kind of eyeballing something and then filing it down and then taking the piece that you're working on and going back, uh, you know, to the, to the pocket or whatever you're trying to fit this piece in. Um, prime example would be like the ashtray of a Porsche and maybe you're doing a laser radar, uh, you're trying to put a controller in there. and well, you need to know that radius, right? So we can all just, we can take our digital calipers and we can figure out the length and the width of the overall piece. Um, but now how do you do your corners? Oh, we just take it to the belt center. We just, a little bit, right? Take it back, test fit. Nope, doesn't fit. Oh, it's too, oh, I took too much off. Okay, that's cool. I'll just cut another rectangle and I'll keep trying, keep trying. Whereas you take this, this set here, take it over to the car, take it over to the ashtray. And next thing you know, you're you're spot on, right? So you figure out which one it is. You lay this up against your 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 uh, your template you're making. Little pencil line. Now you can put it on the belt center, sand the pencil line if you want, or you can get real fancy and you know try to make a a, a template uh, for your router. Or if you're like me, you're going to put it in the CAD so you can cut it out with a laser, uh, you know, or or CNC router, whichever way you want to go. But it's just it's all about kind of like I talked about the other day on the. Uh, digital caliper thing it's all about accuracy and you know trying to eliminate as much guesswork as possible because guesswork tends to take more time and time is money so there you have it uh thank you again for watching and tuning in uh give me some comments uh give me a like a share i really appreciate it uh thank you for your support and we'll see you next time